chance to meet because they gave absolutely everything for this country. Why I'm the only one that gets to stand here is solely because of the medal. Well, let me be the first to say the Medal of Honor is not earned by me. We do not worry about the individual. We worry about the person to the left of us and the person to the right of us. I succeed by seeing them come back. They succeed by me coming back. Me standing here and being recognized is not a tribute to me. It's a tribute to the men that were around me. They did everything they could to free up some time so I could be what I did. What I did was not special, it was not incredible. It was what had to happen. And we all worked towards that as a team. So I wanna I wanna give a shout out to all my friends that aren't here and to all those that this great country has lost. In the name of freedom, in the name of our safety, in the name of keeping America the best country there is. Thank you. buddies, uh, this is something very special. So to to save us some time and to make sure that uh, we can all have our own one-on-one -on -one and I can sign the books, hopefully most of them are signed already, uh, I think we get this party started. I really appreciate everyone coming out. <laughs> I no longer work at Subway or Krispy Kreme. There's only one thing the Army expected me to do, and that's be able to shoot a gun better than the person that shooting it at me. Uh, and we all knew what was at stake. In a situation like that, it is like death. Uh, and it's certainly not a good thing. Everyone else uh, did incredible things, and that's what kind of bums me out. Part of this, when you, when you read the book, which hopefully you do, you'll see these names of people that have served 
and they are absolutely just as deserving as I have ever been. Uh, their name just wasn't with the Medal of Honor. They have done everything I've done. They, some of them have done it again and again and again. We were still at war after 11 years. They continue to serve, they continue to fight, they continue to do what is asked of them. And I just put on these kind of camouflage and I put a jacket on and uh, I'm, I'm stepping aside, but they're still doing it. So I, I really put that in the book because I, I want them to be recognized. It's what makes America. It's not just the guy from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's the person from Florida and Washington and Iowa and Illinois and Nevada and how everyone comes together for a common cause, a common goal.